The Cash for Clunkers program is ending after jump-starting the auto industry. The lot of Jack Kane Ford is a little bare this week. The uh, Cash for Clunkers program has been absolutely terrific. It's got our factories going again. And Ford has hired people back, GM and Chrysler. The factories now are producing cars like they haven't produced over the last two years. Well, the program has been great for the customer and for the country. It's been kind of bittersweet for the dealer. The problem is we haven't been paid for any cash for clunker yet. The government has over $100,000 of our money. He says he expects to see some of that money within 10 days. Pages and pages of paperwork need to be processed. A salesperson told me that paperwork for over 400,000 clunkers has gone to the feds and now the federal government is going through each case, file by file, page by page. And if there are any errors on any page, the entire document goes back to the dealership. So it's a really slow process. It's just been an absolute nightmare for the dealer. Greg Dixon's company will be crushing many clunkers. The red tape is so thick that he is just beginning to process his first trade-in. Crush it and to send it to an automobile shredder. And uh, there's paperwork for all of that process. So it's a very, very tedious and a very slow process. But, uh, you know, it's something that we feel like being a part of the community that we need to step up and do. So with the consumer end of the program in the rearview mirror, there's a long road ahead for the businesses involved. In Lexington, Jeff Cornish, ABC 36 News.